Yellow developing the speed final to Oh, what happened there? Yellow is gone. I am mobile. Thought about diving to the inside there. Headed as the mid pack is as here it goes. Snowstorm. Look at this. Mobile. Right on the tail of yellow line. Good bunch of mobile diving into that first turn. Down the front stretch they go, wrapping between the three of them. After a shock qualifying that saw Cerulean take the first pole position. Cerulean's entire career. We come here to round out the second season of Marbula One at a familiar final circuit, Midnight Bay. Hey everybody, I'm Greg Woods. 15 turns on this nearly 13 meter circuit. Six to the right and nine to the left, facing 15 laps ahead of us with seven teams that are still able to make those final two spots on the podium behind our guaranteed overall champions, Crazy Cat's Eyes. Cerulean, a marble that is one of nine who have never won in Marbula One, and a handful more have just not won this season. Who will capture the final race? And we're rolling! Cerulean dives into the first turn and keeps the lead over Clutter just barely. Razzie is right there as well before a small gap back to the rest of the field. But it's Cerulean away cleanly, some great moves farther back behind. Yellow is trying to move up the order, as is Snowy up into fifth place. Clutter and Razzie holding each other off, trying to battle for second spot, but shooting around the outside is Minty Fresh, a marble that has the most DNQs of anybody in the field with three today. Up the belt they come, Minty Fresh. Well, look at Snowy up seven spots. That's a tremendous start. Snowy now tries to hold off the Minty Maniacs runner. Cerulean's lead has come down. Razzie just a couple of lengths back behind. Clutter is also fairly close as the top three stretch off into the distance inside the tunnel. Out they come onto the back stretch. Cerulean looking for that good entry through the final couple of corners. Onto the front stretch, they bounce off in unison from side to side. The lead just under four tenths of a second. Good moves there, Rapidly, who sets fastest lap at a 30.86 in route to fourth place. Razzie takes the lead off the belt and has a huge lead out of the first sector. That was a great belt exit as we were marveling over Rapidly coming up four spots. Of course, it was Rapidly's teammate who won this race one season ago. Off into the distant part of the course, onto the front stretch. Razzie's lead is a big one. Over half a second as Yellow Eye pips the fastest lap. Yellow Eye did not make it to Q2, but did not get knocked out altogether, even though it was fairly close for the crazy cat size. They don't want to be seen as lifting their foot off the gas heading into this final race. Even though they are guaranteed champions, Yellow Eye up into seventh place. Minty Fresh is now behind Yellow Eye, falling down the order in eighth. Green Duck's Mallard is back in ninth, now back into 10th as Nemo gets by. Razzie's lead, fairly consistent with what it was, but the gap widening from Cerulean back to Clutter. Then rapidly hop up into fifth place. Another one of those marbles seeking the first ever win in Marbula One. But we'll have some work to do. Look at this battle up front. Oh, a hard hit onto the curbs. Cerulean is nearly stopped and has just enough wherewithal to get going again. But that was nearly disaster for the Cobalts. Fantastic defending by Razzie, got Cerulean up onto the curbs and nearly lost all speed. But Cerulean has battled back, holding second place. Minty Fresh has jumped up three spots now, and now another spot in the second place. The Minty Maniacs want their first win. Closing up by the corner on Razzie. Minty Fresh is trying to make the move. Through the tunnel they come. Down onto the back stretch. Where do they shake out? It is still Razzie in front. Cerulean is fighting back now along with Clutter. This is becoming a five marble race as Rapidly is also right there through the final turn. A quarter of a second separating the top two, three tenths separating the top three. Cerulean gets by in the second place. After that near disaster, this is still a three marble race. They all come together. Nice move there by Minty Fresh to take second place, but Cerulean doesn't want to go quietly. Yellow Eyes falling back to 11th place in the meantime as we look farther down the field. Pulsar in dead last. Interesting, 
dynamic between Pulsar, who's lost more spots than anybody, compared to teammate Starry, who's the best gainer of anybody in the entire season. Nemo takes fastest lap, two and a quarter seconds off the lead, but trying to cut into it down in sixth. Rezzy has gotten some breathing room, but it's still a three marble race between Minty Fresh, Cerulean, and Rapidly in the top four. Hop falling back to seventh place. C in eighth, Snowy in ninth, Orange in tenth, and it's Mallard, Yellow, Yellow Eye, Bumble, Hazy, and Pulsar. Hazy is the best gainer among all of the marbles racing this weekend, but is losing that down in 15th. One second lead for Razzy. Oh, another curb issue for Minty Fresh. Falls back to fourth place at the same time as rapidly getting by Cerulean. Lots of things changing now. Mimo back in fifth, locked in a duel with Clutter, then a big gap back to Hop. But rapidly for the Savage Speeders is looking racing. Down the front stretch, cutting into that lead for Razzy. Cerulean doesn't want to give up either as we enter the final third of this race and a final five laps of the season. Rapidly gets fastest lap. Oh, it has a great move there to go around the outside. Rapidly has taken the lead. That was superb. In a flash, the Savage Speeders are back in front. Rapidly, a marble that has never won in Marbula One, surprisingly, even though the Savage Speeders were champions. Here we take a look at the mid-pack, this battle between Clutter, Yellow just off the screen, Snowy, and Hop. Oh, nice speed there, coming off of the conveyor belt and the first turn to get Cerulean back up into second place. And Cerulean carrying that speed into the start of the second sector, trying to get by rapidly. Two marbles that want their first win. And oh yeah, Razzy never won either. So the top three, all winless thus far in Marbula One. 1.3 second lead for rapidly coming up the belt. Over Cerulean, Razzy, Nemo, Minty Fresh, Yellow, Orangin, Clutter, Snowy, and C. And it's Mallard, Hop, Hazy, Yellow Eye, Bumble, and Pulsar. Some moves down there in the farther part of the course. Nemo up into third place, gets by Razzy. Tries to get by Cerulean, but we lose sight. There's a view through the tunnel. That's the mid-pack there, so who is battling up front? We hear some oohs and ahs from the crowd. Rapidly comes across, still leading. Nemo up two spots into second place. Cerulean and Razzy. High on the curves goes rapidly. We've seen that's not the fastest way around this circuit. Cerulean backs into second place. But look at the gap between the three of them. It's anybody's race for second place right now. And we've seen how quickly the lead up front can evaporate as well. Nice inside move there by Orangen. Farther back in the field. Now back to the top three. Well, top four as we see in this shot. Nemo can't make the move there. Razzy, side by side with Cerulean, coming up the belt with a couple of laps to go. Razzy gets the better jump according to the scoring pile, and there we see it. Rapidly, well off into the distance. No, not really. We see that gap coming down. Now as we get a clearer look at those top four, that gap is not insurmountable by any means. Razzy in second place, holding off Cerulean while at the same time keeping tabs on the leader. Cerulean dive bombs it in, in the penultimate corner to take second place, heading into the final lap. Who will win the final race of this season of Formula One? Rapidly, cleaner through the first couple of turns. And what will the gap be exiting the first sector? It is fairly safe thus far. But we've seen Cerulean is strong through the second and third sectors. Rapidly holds it for now. Razzy in third place, Nemo and Minty fresh. The gap is huge for Rapidly. Can Cerulean close it? It's not gonna happen. Rapidly, the first win ever in Marbula One. Cerulean takes second place. Razzy rounds out the podium. Nemo and Minty fresh, the top five. Rapidly's best finish prior to this had been third place. That came back at Misty Mountain. Otherwise, it had been three straight 16th place finishes before that. Sandwich a DNQ in there at the Arctic Circuit. But rapidly finishes the season going third place and first place, up nine spots from a 10th place qualifying.
That also gets rapidly into the positive for spots gained versus lost when you compare qualifying in the race across this season. There was one of Cerulean's mistake, one of a handful of marbles to make that error. Riding the curbs on the outside of the first turn is much quicker if you can stay off of them. Some marbles learned that over the course of this race. Others just could not get it right. Here's Rapidly. Fakes the move to the inside, made Razzie try to cover that, and instead juke to the outside and got the spot. A physical race at times, especially down that front stretch. So the tunnel serving up some surprises as well. What a season of Barbula One this has been. The final team standings. The Savage Speeders vault their way onto the second step of the podium, and the Green Ducks round out third to our eventual guaranteed champions, the Crazy Cat's Eyes in their inaugural season in Marvel One. And Savage Speeders showing consistency across these first two seasons of this new sport as well. Red Eye gets the top spot for the individual championship, but Speedy pips Yellow Eye for second place. Everybody scored a point in the individual championship and in the team championship. Congratulations. What a year it was. And one of our devoted fans, Sarah Tang, pretty happy with the Savage Speeders getting another good season under their belts. And so for the final time, from Midnight Bay, we thank you for watching. Check out our Composer's YouTube channel, by the way, called How and Why. And we hope to see you next season. For everybody here at Yellow's Marble Runs, I'm Greg Woods. Thanks for watching.